Hi parents, this is Ms. Batson, and today I'm going to show you how to get onto Class Dojo. You may be familiar with Class Dojo from your child's teacher this past school year. If not, it's a very easy it's a very easy program. It's not for students, it is for me to communicate with you. So you can download this onto your phone directly. It's an app called Class Dojo or you can use the desktop. I would appreciate if you could download this app onto your phone so that when I send a message about a class assignment, a class meeting, or answering a question you may need answered, it's easy for you to see that notification on your phone. If Class Dojo is on your desktop or your tablet, you won't necessarily know that I sent a message. So if you are on the desktop, I'm going to show you how to access Class Jojo. I'm also going to show you how to access it if you have um, a phone. So on the phone, it's an app. So I'm going to type in here, Class Jojo app. So then you can see what it looks like. It looks like this. See, it? it's this green little man with a bandana and it says Class Dojo. Once you do that, you're going to click Class Dojo. And if you haven't already done so, create a sign in for your child. So you're just going to sign in like you would for anything. And then you're going to come to a place where you can type in a class code. I've already sent the class code. I will send it again if you need me to. Just send me a, a text message. I have texted every single parent um, how to get on your app. I can't do that on the computer as well because it's a computer, right? But I will tell you that it will look something like this. It should have your child's name where you can click it and you can join. So my name is Miss Batson and our group is called Miss Batson's first grade summer school. So I will be teaching first grade summer school this summer, okay? If not, and you want to use a desktop, you will go to classdojo.com. You see it, classdojo.com, click it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click parent, okay? When you click parent, it says sign up as parent, enter your code. Like I said, I sent this code already. If you have not received the code, then the code is, let me check. All right, the class code is C B C O F U. All right, let's give that a shot. Well, that's the code. Oh, let's see. Let me try again. C B C O F U. That's strange because it's telling me that that is the code currently. Okay, let me try again. QR code, get printable QR. Devices without cameras. Okay, I'm not sure why that code doesn't work. It's very strange. So let's see, don't have a code, log in. So this is where you can log in. This is where you're going to use your email and your password and log yourself in. And you will see where you can type in school at St. George Place or you can type in your child's name or you can type in Miss Batson's first grade summer school. 
I'm not sure why the code doesn't work. It's a little confusing there. Okay, so I'm not sure. So go ahead and sign in that way and find me that way, okay? If you have any questions, let me know and I can help you the best that I can. Um, I know it gets a little funny sometimes. Okay, you know what, let's try this. Try clicking student. You see where I clicked student? Maybe this is what it is. Click student and enter class code. Yeah, there we go, it's that way. See, I'm learning too. So here is where you can type in the code that I just gave you. All right, so class code is C-B-C-O-F-U. Yeah, C-B-C-O-F-U. And here are all the students' names. Whichever one is for you, click it and you can log in there. Okay, perfect. All right.